Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with James Coxon, the Chief Product Officer at Stax. James, thank you so much for being here today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about Stax and also the problem it solves for your customers? Yeah, sure. Hi, Ali. It's, uh, it's great to be here and thanks very much for having me on. Look, at its core, Stax is a, is a cloud management platform. It's designed and built to run exclusively on Amazon Web Services. So as well as a really rich window into managing cloud solutions in Amazon Web Services, it's very much a developer experience that empowers builders to build. And because it's a platform, our customers can buy it off the shelf and be up and running with a well-architected, secure, world-class Amazon Web Services cloud ecosystem really in, in a handful of days. So we've, we've kind of automated and prepackaged hundreds of person years of learning and experience so our customers and partners can get to building applications for their customers or migrating a line of business application to the cloud much, much faster than if they had to create all that underlying capability themselves. Wow, that sounds like a really cool platform that can encompass every need of your customers. I'm kind of envisaging like Lego pieces is what you're selling me here. <laughs> but James, can you go into the history of developing the platform and how you knew that customers actually needed this in the first place? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, as part of the group's professional services business, we were helping customers up and down the eastern seaboard of Australia and into Southeast Asia uh, move their apps into the cloud. And, and for many of them, they were just starting that journey. So before they could start transforming their line of business applications or their customer facing digital experiences, they needed to lay down and, and build all those foundational bits account and billing architectures, monitoring, guardrails, networks, compliance, all the cost and visibility stuff. So, so two things happened. We obviously saw a pattern of different customers needing the same thing over and over again. And customers started telling us, I really don't have the people to build all that, or it's, that's not really our core business. We don't have the experience to build that right. Oh, and I don't really want to spin up a CapEx project and, and wait all that time before building the apps that drive outcomes for my business. Can't I just, can't I just buy that as a service, as an out-of-the-box platform? So our customers kind of articulated their problem and told us what they needed. We don't want to wait and we don't want to build something ourselves. We want all the speed to value and the industrial strength expertise that you get with a fully automated out-of-the-box platform. We don't want to be patching and enhancing all that undifferentiated heavy lifting that isn't necessarily core to our business. We just want to be able to subscribe to an evergreen platform that's continuously improved. We want the visibility. We want the actionable insights for cost and compliance and cloud quality across all of our teams, no matter their size or, or their maturity. And we want support local Australian made platform with local support and the ability to input into features and roadmap. And so we, we made the cloud management platform that is Stacks. Wow, I love it. And I, guess, I love your passion when you're talking. I'm like, I just want to buy all this and, and, and start building. It's really cool though to um, you know hear about the background of how Stacks was born. And James, you guys recently helped Flybys, which is an amazing Australian business mm -hmm. migrate 8.6 million customers to the cloud. That's huge. We've had flybys on the show. What I want to know is, can you tell us a little bit about this process and how you were able to help our customer flybys do this? Yeah, sure. So not surprisingly, it kind of started with that customer need that I just explained. You know, we, we'd worked with our sponsor at a previous engagement who wanted to bank the same kind of business outcomes but, but didn't want to own and build and maintain all of that very necessary and, and very important foundation and engine. He wanted to fast forward all that undifferentiated heavy lifting and he wanted to buy it as an, as an evergreen platform. So, so by leveraging stacks, flybys were able to get that, that rapid deployment to a secure automated evergreen platform in, in just a handful of weeks. So, so they were building in the cloud within about three weeks and they were focusing on enhancing their member experience and onboarding other you know, B2B partners in parallel to a migration program. And Stacks also provide flybys with ongoing actionable insights, which gives them access to sort of high quality 
near real time data and reporting across their AWS footprint. Um, and obviously, if your viewers are interested in learning more about how Flyby has transformed their member experience with Stacks, then they can head over to stacks.io and uh, grab a copy of the, uh, the case study. No, I mean, in all seriousness, it is a really cool case study. And when I was speaking to Flybys about what they achieved in, well, what you guys achieved together with them in such a short amount of time, it's pretty incredible. I mean, Stacks was key to generating the right outcomes for Flybys in their stage of the cloud journey. So that's really cool. So James, do you have any examples of customers who had other stages, maybe they're already in the cloud, who are getting value through Stacks? Because I know that um, Flybys were a net new customer. What we want to know about is who have you helped that are already in the cloud and how have you enhanced their cloud journey? Yeah, sure, absolutely. I mean, we, we've got a, customer, a bunch of customers that have a real mix of apps and experience and capability across cloud deployments. One of the things we hear them say a lot is they really want to set the people they have to building innovative solutions for their customers in Amazon Web Services, as opposed to building and operating those apps and managing everything else that's sort of below that line, essentially using high level AWS services to get things done and not necessarily needing to be low level AWS experts and giving all of that low level responsibility to the Stacks platform. Another thing we hear from our customers who are already in the cloud is that they need to spend a lot of time on sort of security and compliance, traceability and things like that. And for a while now, we've been working with banks and public sector, regulated entities, and we've poured all of that experience into Stax's automated security and compliance features. It doesn't really matter what size you are or what industry vertical you're in. Everyone's really focused on being the best they can be in that space. So we see a bunch of customers wanting to turbocharge the security and the compliance and the regulatory components of their cloud maturity using Stacks. And we're obviously a gold sponsor in the upcoming AWS Summit. So we'll have a bit more information on some customer journeys uh, around summit time. Awesome. I mean, I hope for summit we're going to, you know, be out of this COVID hectic stage and that we can meet you all in the flesh and, and stop with all this video conferencing. So that would be awesome. <laughs> And also, you know, it's really interesting for me to hear about customers at different stages of their cloud journey, because often we hear partners kind of telling us about, you know, customers who are not yet in the cloud, like your flybys case study. But it's really interesting to me to hear about how you're helping enhance that cloud journey. So thanks so much for sharing. Finally, I could speak to you all day, but James, I've just got one last question, and that is around customer obsession. As everybody knows, it's super important to AWS and, and us here with our leadership principles. But what I want to know is, can you tell us a little bit about what customer obsession means to you and also a customer win of yours that you can share? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, a, a lot of us here at Stacks have been the customer in previous lives. So what we really understand that getting, getting those outcomes is, is critical to building and maintaining confidence in cloud. So, so a win for us is, is seeing the delight in our customers' eyes when they bank their wins over and over again. You know, seeing them ship stuff to production um, is, 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 really what, is really what drives us. And I know that you've previously, previously spoken here on Community Chats with Lauren Russon from Ping ID, who spoke about their customers' need to deploy Ping Cloud globally. So to know that Stacks helped them achieve that global win, as an example, is, is just fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. It's been so cool to speak to you and hear about everything. I want to know before I go, what's on your t-shirt? It look, it reminds me of Lego pieces. This whole interview of being like building with Lego, building infrastructure and architecture. So what's your t-shirt? <laughs> We've, we've, we've got a bit of a habit here at Stacks of um, printing slightly on-brand, slightly off-brand t-shirts for the staff. Uh, and so um, uh, in, the, in the heart of our COVID lockdown last year, as we were doing a little bit of a virtual Christmas celebration, uh, we decided to uh, print a whole bunch of uh, slightly on-brand, slightly off-brand t-shirts and ship them out with some other goodies to the rest of the staff. So that's the, uh, that's the story behind the t-shirt. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you didn't just tell me like, oh yeah, my wife just bought it from Target the other day. <laughs> I was hoping it was something to do with Stacks. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on the show today. And if anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Thanks, James. Absolute pleasure. Thanks, Tate. Thanks, Ali.